in Cuenca the end of fall of 2014, uh, the end of, of uh, August, and um, so I've been here over three and a half years. I've lived in three different places. The first couple of months I kind of went Airbnb, spent my first month living uh, with a family up in Baños, and then the second month living in El Centro, Mariscal Sucre, and then the next month um, living kind of on Loja and Pichincha, so three different neighborhoods. I needed to get out of the Loja and Pichincha one and I just realized it was time to get an apartment for myself. So then I found one um, in just a purely Ecuadorian neighborhood, no gringos, um, up by Feria Libre, above Feria Libre, uh, which was nice for a year and a half. It was a new building. Turned out to be all gringos eventually in the building. <laughs> Uh, and that was while they were working on Las Americas, so it was kind of a pain in the butt. There was a lot of traffic on the street I was living on. That was fine, um, and then finally I just needed to get out of that place, so I moved to a place in Gringolandia, uh, right on the river. Modern building, which I thought I would never live in Gringolandia, because of whatever stigma I thought there was. That's a nice area. And then when I got there, yeah, and when I got there, it's like, this is... Great location because you can get anywhere from there easily. It's peaceful. There are no wild dogs walking around. The neighborhood's clean. It's a super maxi there. And uh, now there are some restaurants being opened and uh, we're doing this also now that it's done. It's a very good thing. So I'm finding it to be, you know, for me, um, a really good location. My reason for leaving the U.S. was I was fed up with the rat race. I, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was in a job I hated. Um, getting a new job wouldn't have solved the problem. I solved it a little bit, but I was just like, I needed to make a clean break. I needed to get out of the rut. I wasn't happy in the rut. I wasn't happy with the direction my life was going. Yeah, that's, there's turnover, yeah. I mean, I was planning this for two years before I came here. Mm -hmm. I, two bags, sold everything, except my car. I didn't own a home or anything, but I sold everything. And I showed up with, you know, two suitcases, not knowing if I was going to, going to stay here because I hadn't visited. I didn't know if I'd like it. I just read the articles and listened to the podcasts. And so I was ready to say, okay, after a year, I don't like it. I'm going to go somewhere else in South America. It took, I would say, three at three years. But the, I would say the big thing was when I decided to renew my lease for the apartment I'm in now. That was the big, you know... It's like, do I need to move somewhere else to really optimize and get what I want, or am I okay here, given everything? I just decided, no, I'm happy here. I can like live here long term. My other apartment, no, there were too many things I didn't like. Yeah. And then before that, the other places, no. So I'm I'm comfortable now, but I'm also antsy. So. Well, the reason I went was because I was getting feeling complacent in Cuenca. Is there enough excitement? Is there enough of the things that I want? And I'd read about Colombia and one of our friends, Turtle, moved there, had great things to say about it and had done a lot of research and it piqued my interest. I'd been around Ecuador enough to know that I really wouldn't want to live any other place in Ecuador except for Cuenca. Um, but I've heard great things about Colombia and I wanted to visit it. I hadn't visited uh, any other countries um, yet. Since being here, I decided I actually was going to go with Turtle initially, um, but that didn't work out for various reasons. So he's, he moved, um, and I decided I can go visit him. I can explore um, other cities too. So my, my plan was to go for about a month and to go to Manizales, uh, where Turtle lives, and also to visit Medellin. And Medellin was really where I was most interested in and as in a possibility of future residence. Partly because one of the things about Cuenca that I don't like is that it's 
behind the times economically, it's behind the times business-wise. Um, there's a lot of things that you can't get here that I think we all are used to having yeah. in the U.S. in terms of selection. I wanted to explore, and I heard Randy Dean was very exciting, up and coming, modern, lots of things to do, see, beautiful, good Is climate. It? It's, I would say, it, yes, it's all those things, but there are also downsides. I mean. One of the things that I'm most particular about is the climate. Here I love, I don't want to live in a humid, hot environment, otherwise I'd probably be in the beach somewhere in Costa Rica or, or whatever. And so Medellin is actually more hot and humid than Cuenca and by quite a bit. I mean, it's more tropical. It's just more, you just see tropical plants there that you don't see here and it's hot. And so walking around you sweat. So I'm not sure if that's something that I could live with. It might be it. You can't live with it. But I can't, I can't make the decision yet because I was only there for a couple of weeks mm -hmm. in the, sea, the cool season, I think. In, in, uh, yes, yeah, so I think it was a cool season in January. But it is beautiful. I mean, there, the parts that I was in, I didn't go to all the parts. I basically stayed in the you know, higher end as Poblado and Lorelis. And I, I toured and I had friends there that I met or that I knew before that showed me around a little bit. But I stayed in those areas, really looking to see if I could live in either of those areas. The Medellin was like Even a more. big shocker, yeah. It's more modern than Chicago where I'm from. Yeah. And I mean, the, the malls there, it's a very mall. <laughs> it's a very commercial city yeah. <laughs> and lots of unbelievable malls and you know beautiful streets parks be yeah. nice parks it, it's still very latin american yeah. in flavor um it's not like sterile uh modern but lots of tall buildings and everything